Ah, I'm falling! Uh, oh, no I'm not. Dad, you okay in there? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh look, a totally not haunted house. I mean, Century 21 wouldn't lie, would they? Neither would this witch at Game Night Fright. All witches are friendly just like this. Hey, it's a sweet game of Monopoly, or something. Landing on the Grimnasium sure will get you in shape. Or maybe you'd rather take a jog with Todd Clausen out on the Monon. But don't land in jail in this game, because it's real. Very real. If you're a brainiac, the chess room might be for you. Just watch your step, or you might get pawned off all the way down the checked drain. You made it out of there without a checkmate. Now we're off to Candyland. Candyland? Doesn't that look scrumptious? And who doesn't love them some death by chocolate? Mmm, mmm. Tommy Two-Tone agrees. You're gonna have to Google that now, aren't you? If you ate too much candy, that's okay. The docs from Methodist Hospital are obviously here to help. Give them a big hand, y'all. They're even ready if you feel a bit chilly while you're inside. Next up in Game Night Fright, ooh, Twister. I'll just leave that right there. Don't lose your concentration, there's still more rooms to go, and don't fumble in this room. During frightening hours, something might jump out at you. The Joker is wild, but not nearly as wild as old Hildegard here. Didn't know the Children's Museum was doing a remake of Tommy. That's another one you'll have to Google. Game Night Fright, the Children's Museum's haunted house, is open October 12th through the 30th. There's regular hours and frightening hours if you feel like being scared a little bit. We've got the info at WRTV.com. So if the pinball wizard, or witch, or warlock, whatever that is, doesn't get you, and if you don't get dizzy and fall into the pit, you might still be done in by the broken glass and the seven years bad luck. At the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, Ray Steele, WRTV. Thank you